Let's see how much we used here. 84%. All right, so today I got a call for our Addison RTU being down. Uh, they said that they tried resetting it, but it just keeps going back into an alarm. I just reset it now. And I'll show you what we're going off on here. No breakers or trip. We do have full power here. Let's time it out. So the alarm it was showing uh, was SF fail, which uh, is supply fan failure. And my drive was showing a 1T fault. Right now it's off. It's getting ready to start here. All right, so she just clicked. That's for our supply fan. Let's take a look over here. Came over here to check the motor out. This is what you hear. Looks like it's trying. It's definitely seized. So let me shut the power off and I will show you exactly what's going on here right now. You can see it's free because it stopped trying to energize. So let's shut that off. Assuming that's a thermal trip. And get in here. I was getting ready to take the motor control box apart. And then I grabbed this and I felt that it was hanging up until I noticed. All the bolts are broken off that motor. So if you can see it's separated here. Here, it looks like it's spun. So this motor is probably shot. Um, my bolts, looks like they're down there. So yeah, looks like we got definitely supply fan fail. So I guess we're changing a motor. Perfect. All right, got it this far. Uh, ain't the best of shape. But gonna need some help. Looks like getting this thing out of here. I just throw this thing out but don't want to hurt the wheel because no telling how long it's going to take to get one of these things and we got to try and get this back up and going all right so i was able to get some uh, movement on this penetrating fluid in there and it seems to be started so i've just been hammering that in there to kind of force it up and then uh, gently massaging it Looks like it's on its way out. All right, success. Uh, ended up using this puller right here. And it uh, finally just popped right off, so no big deal. Uh, now I just gotta get the motor, get it up here, and uh, hope that's all that's wrong here. All right, so while we're waiting for the motor, I figured I would clean this 
bar wheel up a little. Found a prehistoric can of Rust-Oleum Dumpster Blue. It matches Big Buddy here. Uh, should make it run a lot better. Put some paint on there since I did such a good job at the factory. Yeah, like zero primer, zero prep. Just paint it right over some raw steel. It's just flaking everywhere. So I do what we can to try and minimize that. All right, so I seriously did not plan that blue to match, but it is a dead match for that. So I guess I use Rust-Oleum Blue at Addison. I mean, it matches. And I just found this can laying around at the maintenance shop. Like perfect. Can't beat that. Definitely looks worse in person, so uh, but it doesn't. Man, it matches so good. So we got our new motor. Blower's all cleaned up mostly. We'll get her back in, in the hole. All right, we got our new motor and wheel hooked back up. Check the wiring once, so we should be good. Let's throw some power to it. Once we get loaded up here, it will give me a display. Stop power. It says stop. Shut it down to put that cover back on. Go through the waiting process again. So this is just a uh, electric hoist hooked up to a ladder jack that I cut that end off. Unistrut and uh, some one inch conduit powering it up with my blue eddy. It was on 100% when we started. Just had to get it up on two roofs. Uh, one motor up, one motor down. So this is 600 watt and I believe this is rated 460 watt so so far it's working out good a little bit more there we go all right let's see how much we used here 84%. So 16% used lifting a seven and a half horse motor up and bringing one down. And also the blower. We used it for the blower wheel. Not bad. And so far we got circuit one or uh, cooling one is on. And we have uh, set point 72 degrees. It's currently 80 in there. We're a few minutes away from cool too. Let's see. Yeah, we're 
five minutes, 42 seconds away from this compressor firing up here. One is on right now. Check back in five minutes. And as of now, we have supplier 59.8. Zone is 80. So we got both our stages back on. Uh, no dehum, no reheat right now. Just trying to get the space back down to temp. Set the 72 is currently either 79, 57 degree supply air. So we're gonna button this up and uh, hang around a little bit, check the temperatures, and make sure it's cooling off in the kitchen. So, Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Thank <sighs> you.